and welcome back to my channel. So I went to Paris Fashion Week with L'Oreal Paris a few weeks ago and you guys have been requesting this hair tutorial for ages now. So I am going to be showing you how to create this look using the new Studio Pro range from L'Oreal Paris. There are loads of products in this range. I will leave all the details of them below, but if you wanna see how to get this look, then please keep watching. First up, we are gonna prep the hair. So I'm starting off with a freshly washed hair and I'm just gonna undo my kind of towel thing that I've got on my head. And once I've got all my hair down, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and combed. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. So once our hair is nicely combed, we are gonna go in with a mousse. So the mousse that I'm using is the same one that the hairstylist used in my hair, which is the L'Oreal Paris Studio Pro boost it volume mousse and I just love the kind of sensation of putting mousse onto my hands but what I'm doing is I'm getting a big pump of this and I'm massaging this into my roots and also into the ends of my hair and this is really going to give us volume for the rest of the look and it's going to give us that kind of like fake big hair kind of look. Next, we are going to blow dry the hair. So grab your blow dryers and first of all, you wanna just get out most of the wetness and dampness in your hair so it's easier to blow dry. And what I like to do actually is I like to flip my head upside down and blow dry the kind of like roots of my hair that way first, just so that it kind of adds extra volume as well. And the hairstylist, when she blow dried my hair, she obviously did it like a profesh and I'm nowhere near a professional. Um, so I'm kind of making the most of my kind of rounded um, brush and just making sure that every single strand is nice and blow dried and is also looking as straight as possible because we are gonna not really use any straighteners on this look. So we wanna make sure that our hair is big and fluffy and the mousse is gonna help with that and also blow drying it straight. Now it's time to move on to the actual curling of the hair. So what I like to do is I section my hair off first where my ears are. You've probably seen me do this in a lot of my other hair tutorials. And I clip the top away and then get the remaining section and kind of put it in two halves. Then I start from a section which is closest to my face. I grab that and then I get my curlers and I curl away from my face. So I always put the hair underneath the barrel and up and around. And I'm leaving the ends out because we don't wanna straighten the ends. And then I always like to pull the hair that I've curled slightly and release it. Now we're gonna curl this one the opposite way. So we're gonna curl this towards our face. So we're gonna go over and under the barrel and also again, leaving the end part of the hair out. I hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds and then release and pull. So this one we're gonna be curling the opposite way, so I'm curling this away from my face. And again, holding this for around 10 to 15 seconds to make sure the hair's nice and hot and releasing. Now we're gonna add some hairspray. So the hairspray that I had put on my hair was the Boost It hairspray, and this is basically gonna add some like plumping to your hair, and it's gonna make it look even bigger. Um, so I'm just adding a few sprays of that into the hair and then working on the next section. Again, we're taking the first section and always, always, always curling away from the face and leaving the ends out. Holding for 10 to 15 seconds and releasing. And then again, we are gonna curl towards the face for the next strand. So we wanna repeat this over and over and over again until we are finished with all of this section. And again, we are going to spray this and gonna kind of like add some extra volume with the Boost It Volume Hairspray. Now I like to clip the hair that we've curled away and then I work on the next section. So the next section I always get, which is from my like eyebrows, and I pin the rest away and then start curling. Now, one thing that I really was impressed with this range was the fact that there is no difference in price depending on what product you get. Now, for me, this is always like a key whenever I'm looking for hair care products because I have loads of hair and generally like certain products cost more than others. But whereas this, the whole Studio Pro range is retailed at £4.49 each, which is a really like affordable price range, but the products are really great as well. And the 
smell of this you guys is so nice it's really fresh and like fruity which i think is perfect for like spring and summer and sometimes i like having my hair smelling like really nice and fresh so here i'm just working on the top section of my hair um so i'm clipping that all away and i like to do the like crown of my hair in two sections so again you can just see me curling straight like pulling it straightening it almost and releasing all the sections and making sure i'm going in opposite directions with each strand and hairspraying everything in place once i am done with kind of doing all of the hair I am going to move on to the top section. So with the top section, as you'll see me doing in a second right here, I like to kind of part this in the middle. And this helps because I find it just easier to curl this way. Um, but also I like to like have a side parting and I love it when one strand goes to the other side and it causes like a really nice dimension and look and feel to the whole hair. So here you can see me just kind of curling that all away and spraying everything in place. Once you get the hang of it, it's super, super easy, but definitely adding mousse and kind of not straightening your hair is gonna give you that volume as well as obviously the volumizing hairspray. So once I'm done with all of that, it is time to straighten and lock the hair in place. Now you're probably thinking, I swear she said she's not gonna straighten her hair. Well, I'm just straightening the sections which are closest to my like hairline because I have really wavy bits there. So as you can see, I'm literally just straightening those kind of key bits right near my hairline. And that's kind of going all the way around like my forehead, just making sure that everything's nice and smooth and straight. Then I like to take the straighteners onto the ends just to make sure everything is nice and straight. And it just adds a more of like a beachy, fun, like effortless look to the hair. So as you can see, I'm just going over any strands that I feel like need a little bit more straightening before we go and lock everything in place. Now, by locking everything in place, I'm actually gonna grab the Studio Pro Lock It Fixing Hairspray. Now, this is again something that the hairdresser used on my hair, and I basically spray this onto my fingers and my hands, and then I just kind of like run that through the hair. This is gonna keep the hair really like light and not heavy and it's still gonna keep that bounce in the hair as well. And that, you guys, is the end of this tutorial. It is very easy once you get the hang of it, but I have been loving curling my hair like this recently. And I've gotta say that this technique and like the products and steps that I do and that the hairdresser did when I was in Paris definitely keep that volume and big kind of oomphness to my hair, even if that is a real word, I really don't think it is. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping to do more and more hair tutorials on my channel, so fingers crossed. But until next time, you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!